my name is Austi. I'm a nurse practitioner and today I wanted to show you what it's like to work as a family nurse practitioner in the urgent care so stay tuned. <laughs> typically start your shift looking at the schedule for the day, reviewing labs, checking emails, and returning calls for patients you saw with days prior. So let me give you an example of a lab that you would review. This is not a real patient's report. This is just an example. So say you ordered a urine culture and the urine culture comes back and you prescribe that patient macrovid. Um, according to this report on the urine culture that would be the correct medication um, versus Bactrim for example where if you would have prescribed Bactrim you would need to change the medication. So after you review your labs call back patients to give them their results and look at the schedule it's time to start seeing patients. So let me show you an example of the flow of getting report and seeing patients. <laughs> some of the resources that I use while working in the urgent care. I will do a separate video on this that goes into more detail that shows other resources and apps and books that are really helpful. But I just wanted to give you a quick glance of what I use. Okay, so now that I have a little bit of a break, I can kind of go over what we can treat in the urgent care. So things we treat in the urgent care are allergies, uh, cold and flu, UTIs, rashes, STDs, minor lacerations and fractures, abscesses, um, headaches, ear infections, sinus infections, things like that. Anything major like uh, slurred speech, shortness of breath, chest pain, um, major lacerations, major injuries, those need to be seen at the emergency room. So what experience will you need working in urgent care? That will depend. A lot of urgent cares like to hire people who have experience in the emergency room or prior urgent care experience. But most of the time you, of course, have to have your um, nurse practitioner license and certification. Um, and it kind of just depends on your experience. Some will hire new grads straight out, like I said, if you have RN background and working in the ER or um, urgent care or ICU settings and some won't. So that kind of just depends on the facility. We can also do certain procedures and sports physicals. Every urgent care will be different as far as the certain procedures that you can do. Some urgent cares do EKGs, some urgent cares do IV fluids, and some don't. So let me show you some common procedures that you can do in the urgent care. <laughs>
So one thing I wanted to go over are pros and cons of working in an urgent care. So one pro is that you only have to work three days a week, which to me gives you a really good work-life balance. Another pro is that you do see all age groups. So you do see from newborn to geriatric. So you don't specialize in just one age group, which can cause you to kind of lose some of your skills with working with certain patient populations. Another pro is that you don't have to chart at home. Typically, you're done charting and can close your chart by the end of the day versus in a primary care setting, you typically will have to take your charting at home and chart after. And the final pro of working in the urgent care is that you typically are managing more acute illnesses versus chronic illnesses. Chronic illnesses will come in, but a lot of times the management of that is taken back to the primary care provider versus in the uh, urgent care where you're pretty much dealing with acute illness. So some cons of working in the urgent care would definitely be the long hours. So typically you work 12 hour shifts when working in the urgent care when you're working three days a week. So those 12 hours can definitely make for a long day. Another con I would say is that you typically don't get off on time. Um, so you have to see that last patient regardless of the time that they walk in, which can cause you to get off late. Another con I would say is that most urgent cares are open on weekends and holidays, so you do have to work weekends and holidays when working in an urgent care. All right, so that is all for this video on how it is working in the urgent care as a nurse practitioner. I hope I gave you some insight on what it's like. Please stay tuned for future videos, and thanks for watching.